Welcome everyone back to one of our uh, weekly reflections here at St. Teresa's Church here in Elmira. Welcome back everyone. I'm really thinking about everybody and praying for everybody um, at this time, especially that um, we're getting um, more through our pandemic, but uh, your thoughts um, are my thoughts and I'm uh, thinking about you and in your my prayers, especially those that are shut in, those that are sick, those that are infirmed, that we are here thinking and praying for you at this time. A little reflection this week um, is about a, a special thing happening in the Catholic Church throughout the whole world. There is going to be, starting um, this month until um, uh, November of 2023, a special event in the life of the Catholic Church throughout the world. This event is called uh, Towards a Synodal Church, Communion, Participation, and Mission. And what a synod is, it's a gathering of people and thoughts and ideas throughout the world, of people giving their input about how the church has affected them, uh, why they um, want to speak about the church, and then again about their honest um, reflections about how the Holy Spirit guides them. And we need your help. Uh, I need your help because you are the voice of the church. You are the church. Whether you come to church, whether you don't come to church, uh, whether you have come to church in the past and feel that uh, your issues maybe haven't been heard, for example, that we want to hear from people that uh, are, are attending and people aren't attending. Um, we want to hear your voice. So uh, the, uh, the uh, process uh, is inviting us to listen to what God is speaking to us in our life right now to, to participate in this synod and that your voice, all voices matter. All voices, all expressions of faith matter. Whether we are teenagers, whether we are children, whether we're uh, adults, whether we're seniors, whether we are um, uh, marginalized, whether we are male or female, whether we are from different races. Uh, in the God's church, all are welcome. Whether we are ostracized, whether we are um, gay or, or straight, whoever we are uh, in the church, we have to be heard. Uh, and the Holy Spirit wants to hear from us how he's working in our life and how we can uh, communicate our, the listening that we do in our life and how we can communicate that to um, this process that's going to be handed on eventually um, to um, uh, Rome and then the leaders are going to be speaking about um, the uh, input. And one of the um, areas that we're going to do here in the next many months is have some discussion groups. And we're going to have some groups gathering in safety in protocols to uh, look at a few questions. And the theme that we're going to look at is listening, is how do we listen? Uh, do we listen uh, to God's voice? And how is God acting in us? And how is God working in us? And that also means, uh, where does God want us to be uh, in a few years? Uh, how does God want us to be honest with our thoughts, uh, our ideas, and where the church um, needs to listen? Because the church, the hierarchy, needs to listen. They need to participate as well, too, in your thoughts, your ideas, your issues, and your concerns. Because God will show us. God lives in each one of us, again, whether we're not in church, whether we are at church, whether we're um, male or female, whether, whether we're from a different race, whether we're gay or straight, wherever we are, we are God's people, we are God's family, and we are loved by God. So the most important thing is, in this process, you'll hear more um, in the bulletin, you'll hear more online, you have access for this. We will have on things on our, on our main page of our uh, bulletin and also uh, on our um, website about how you can be involved. We need to hear from you. God is asking all of us to pray, to listen, and then to share what we need to give to the church, what your concerns, needs, and ideas are. We need your thought, we need your listening, and we need your 
ideas. So may God bless you. Uh, you are being prayed for in this process. We're going to learn together. We're going to we're going to hope together. We're going to listen together, and we're going to be um, God's people together. Because all of you count, from the greatest to the least, uh, to the ones that are here, the ones that we uh, that are falling through the cracks or the marginalized. Each person is counted, and we want to hear from everybody. So over the next six or eight months, we want to hear from you. So may God bless you all, and uh, we'll, be, we'll see more information, actually, from another reflection, and then also on the front page of the website, and also at Mass. May God bless you all, and please consider this listening process for the Synod. May God bless you all, and your families, and you're in our special prayers at this time. May God bless you all. My dear friends, I'm pleased to greet you from the Cathedral Basilica of Christ the King in Hamilton. I want to tell you about an exciting initiative of Pope Francis in which he invites our entire diocese to participate. In May of 2021, Pope Francis announced the date and theme of the next Synod of Bishops. It will take place in Rome in October 2023. The theme of this Synod is Towards a Synodal Church, Communion, participation, and mission. In preparation for this synod, the Holy Father has asked each diocese throughout the world to encourage the people, including those who might feel distant from the church, to reflect on the theme for the synod and to share their experience of the church today. In the Diocese of Hamilton, a committee has been formed to assist us in gathering your thoughts and in preparing the diocesan report on what has been heard. In this brief video, you will learn more about the Synod and how we will gather the information in the coming weeks and months. I invite each of you to let your voice be heard and to pray for Pope Francis and to ask for God's blessing on this historic moment in the life of the Church. So what is a Synod? And what is special about this Synod of Bishops in which we have been called to participate? The word Synod comes from a Greek word which denotes a council of the church. The first such gathering is recorded for us in chapter 15 of the Acts of the Apostles. The leaders of the church gathered in Jerusalem around the year 50 AD to discern what was required of Gentile or non-Jewish converts to Christianity. And in particular, the question of circumcision and certain dietary customs, which were part of Jewish practice. Over the centuries, councils or synods were most often gatherings of bishops, theologians, and civil rulers for the purpose of deciding on an issue of doctrine, or to hold elections to various offices in the church, or to determine laws for the Christian community. In recent centuries, synods and councils have been somewhat rare, occasionally held in particular dioceses. However, Following the Second Vatican Council between 1962 and 1965, Pope St. Paul VI reintroduced the practice of synods for bishops, gatherings of bishops from various parts of the world to discuss issues of concern for the universal church or for particular continents. For example, the synod in 2015 focused on the family. The synod in 2018 was convened to discuss young people faith and vocational discernment. And the most recent synod in 2019 took place to address issues in the Amazon region. In announcing the Synod of Bishops, which will take place in Rome in 2023, Pope Francis indicated that this synod would be different from recent synods. This synod is not intended to be a single event, but rather a process which is to unfold over three years, involving each diocese, each continent, and then the bishops who will gather in Rome in 2023. 
It will involve listening to the voices of all the members of the Church throughout the world. This Synod is not being convened to clarify any doctrinal issues or to determine any Church policies or disciplines. Rather, this Synod is meant to be an experience of walking together, listening to one another, and discerning together how the Christian community can carry out Christ's mission to proclaim the Kingdom of God. The question which Pope Francis sets before the whole Church is this. How does this journeying together, which takes place on many different levels, allow us to proclaim the Gospel in accordance with the mission that has been entrusted to us by the Lord? And what steps does the Spirit invite us to take in order to grow as a synodal Church? And so the purpose of this unique and historic Synod is to gather the people of God either in person or virtually, to be attentive to the Holy Spirit's prompting, to listen to one another, and to discern the path forward. As the theme suggests, we are being invited to offer our thoughts on how we can deepen our communion with the Lord and how all the members of the Church can participate more fully in its mission. Pope Francis is asking each and every one of us to become involved in the synodal process leading up to the Synod of Bishops to be held in Rome in 2023. The Pope tells us that the point of the synodal church is to listen as the entire people of God to what the Holy Spirit is saying to the church. It is to make us the people of God, actors in the process of discernment rather than passive onlookers. The Pope, through the Synod documents, asks us to speak boldly and honestly and to create space for those who seldom speak to do the same, especially the voices of the young, women, and the marginalized. He is calling the Church to connect the three voices, the voice of the Holy Spirit, the voice of the people of God, and the voice of the bishops into one. As we spend the next two years not in a one-off process, but on a journey towards a permanent conversion. We invite you to participate by contacting your parish to join a discussion group or complete the online questionnaire by clicking the online button below. It's important to remember that for this process to be effective, all three voices, the bishops, the people of God, and the Holy Spirit must be engaged. To quote the preparatory document for the process of information gathering, the purpose of the synod and therefore this consultation is not to produce documents, but to plant dreams, draw forth prophecies and visions, allow hope to flourish, inspire trust, bind up wounds, weave together relationships, awaken the dawn of hope, learn from one another, and create a bright resourcefulness that will enlighten minds, warm hearts, and give strength to our hands. We look forward to sharing this journey with you. I'm going to share my voice. Will you share yours? I'm going to share my voice. Will you share yours? I'm going to share my voice. Will you share yours? I'm going to share my voice. Will you share yours? I thank you for watching our video, uh, the, the one put out by our diocese. Uh, people in that diocese were from all over um, the area. There was even uh, one highlighted from uh, Tiny Takeout, which is downtown Kitchener, which is really hearing from the marginalized and helping those that ha have no money or have no home uh, to be able to have a nice nourishing meal. So speaking of nourishing, the video was calling us, asking us to think about, to pray about, and to use our voice. And our voice comes from God. Our voice comes from deep within, where God speaks to us uh, in our, the depths of our hearts. And the Holy Spirit always guides us. So either, um, uh, I want you to either go on to the Serbia Monkey, uh, which we'll provide for you, uh, or we'll give you another, other opportunities in the next months to join uh, a group, or as well to, to, um, to just ask any questions you have to me or the staff about uh, how we can make this a good process for our pairs so that we're all heard. So thank you for watching the, the video um, and we will, you'll hear more about this 
in time to come. Thank you for being a part of this, and may God bless you all.